Okay, drei, zwei, eins, zwei Minuten, los! Wie heißt du? Ich heiße Kevin. Wo wohnst du? Ich wohne in Hendon. So Aha, 5. November Geburtstag. Ich bin Mathe. Zwei, eins. Stopp, Hand bitte. Okay, ein Session auf Englisch jetzt. Why do you think I'm going to ask you to perform to the rest of the class? What's the rest of the class going to do? Apart from laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica. Um, they're going to pick out any errors or um, things you did good. I think one of the things that maybe has changed in my teaching that AFL has had a profound impact on is my use of English. I would have said, no, 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 no place for English at all. It can all be done in the target language. And I've actually moved a long way down that road of saying, well, there is a place for English, uh, really to take them outside of their language, if you like, and to actually look in and say, OK, this is what we're doing, this is why we're doing it, and this is how I can get better. Bitte? Hendon School in North London is a specialist language college. Their modern foreign languages department has helped lead the way with assessment for learning okay. right across Moment. the school. Moment, session of English jetzt. So I want you to think while they're speaking of two things that you really like about their dialogue and one thing that you think would make it even better. And I'm going to ask you at the end to tell me, okay? Jessica, you're not allowed to put him off, because look. <laughs> OK? No pressure. <laughs> Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Wo wohnst du? Ich wohne in Hendon. Wie heißt du? Ich heiße Kevin. Wie heißt du? Ich heiße Matteo. Wie geht's? Sehr gut. Sehr gut. Wie geht's? Sehr gut. Sehr gut. It's very difficult sometimes when you get two children performing. The big question is, what do the rest of the children do? So if you prime them in advance, you've got children buying in and really listening to what is going on and, and dissecting it as well. What did you think was really good? Because they were quite nervous. <laughs> Jennifer. Mateo's pronunciation was very good. It was very good, wasn't it? Anything else? They spoke as if it was in a conversation and they didn't just follow the structure. Absolutely. Anything now you think they could improve to make it even better next time? Um, they were asking funny questions like, um, what wants to do and then we high to do straight away. And like, you don't ask straight away, you just ask them no first. So. Exactly. OK, happy with that, boys? Yeah. Excellent. Round of applause. <laughs> I really wanted to move the children from using guided dialogues into a more unguided situation. And I wanted them to be very clear about how they could move from one national curriculum level okay, into the next. Common. Zusammen kommen, weil es ein Dialog ist, ja, das ist Speed Dating. Also ihr müsst Rebecca uses a speed dating activity to help her year nine students practice their oral skills and then set improvement targets. Hast du einen Rudel? Ich heiße Rusty. Er heißt Rusty. Was spielst du gern? They were assessing each other, they were feeding back to each other, where they had the opportunity as well to practice, because by the time they hit partner two or partner three, they've actually become quite fluent in what it is they're going to say. They're referring to the assessment criteria. I think that you use your connectors really well, but you should try and get a bit more connective into the vocabulary. I like your adjectives. I think you should use more adjectives and like describe your sentences more to make it more complex. But I like your pronunciation. OK, of English reader, who can tell me one target that they have been set by their partner about how to improve. The target was uh, talk more in the future and improve my tense in the future. Right, and um, can you think of a sentence that you could say in the future? Just to Next to Walker, where did it for fusible? Fussball. Spielen. Spielen. Spielen, exactly. So that's a really good target. Les objets mystérieux. Comment dit Emma Kell introduces assessment for learning to her Year 7 French class familiarising them with self-assessment to build up their basic language skills. Ça, c'est un objet. Ça, c'est un objet. Moi, je suis un objet. Comment dit-on en anglais les objets mystérieux? 
Does it mean what we're going to be using today? I find that having an object to throw in the classroom takes away the slightly intimidating um, idea of picking on students. It keeps students on the ball. Any student could have the monkey flying in their direction at any point. So I find it very inclusive and a way of making sure all children are on the ball all the way through the lesson. Mysterious objects? Mysterious objects we've never seen before. OK, you're going to be shown 12 French words. How many do you think you will be able to work out on your own and without help? How many will you be able to do with the help of the person next to you? How many of you have you targeted yourself? Uh, I target myself five. Five? And why five? Because I might, I might not understand it, but it could look like a cognate to me. Thank like you very English. much. Now, if you had to set yourself a target with a partner, I would think 12, because, first of all, there's teamwork. Good. And, and you got a mind. Teamwork and you've got a mind. Well, you've actually got... Two minds. Two minds. Good. Excellent. OK. Tournez la page. Une minute. So, strategies, how will you do it? How will you go about it? Use a dictionary. Use a dictionary, that's one idea, yeah. I will just see the word and see if... how is it, like, related in English? See how the word's related in English, excellent. I found that assessment for learning has um, made me a lot less didactic in my teaching. It's putting the onus on the students to work out the answer for themselves and to understand the process whereby they reach that answer. Rather than giving me answers you're absolutely confident on, I now want you to give me answers for the ones you found quite hard. Lelo. Un gummy. Un gum. And what do you think it means? Rubber. A rubber. How do you know? Um, looked in the dictionary. You looked in the dictionary. Un gum, rubber, coche. You now need to think about your original targets and your original ideas at the beginning of the lesson. And I need you to answer the questions on the pink sheet. And then you're going to set yourself a target for next time. I don't want targets which say, do better. I want you to actually say to me how you're going to do better. I wanted them just to have that quiet thinking time to process their thoughts, to actually think about what have I learned, how do I know I've learned that, and how did I go about learning that. OK. Très vite, très vite. Rangez vos affaires, s'il vous plaît. Rangez vos affaires. Oui? Rangez vos affaires. If you think that you achieved as well as you possibly could this lesson, hold up three fingers. If you were kind of average brain power, hold up two. If your brain power, just for whatever reason, was below par today, hold up one finger. The core question is what have our students learned and how do we know? I will look at their forms, I will look at their responses to the questions, and I will look at their, their feedback through the fingers. It's, it's just one more way of getting them aware of the way they're learning. Within the school, we spent a lot of time looking not so much at data, because quite a lot of assessment for learning is driven by data and target setting like that. What we were interested in was how you can change activities in the classroom so that you give them an assessment slant. Four months away from their exams, Rebecca uses a diamond ranking activity with her Year 11s, helping them to prioritise grammar points for the conversational element of their GCSE. We need the perfect tense at the top because that's the tense where I speak in the whole piece and because it's all about like the yeah. past. And then time frame and, and opinions because you can't get higher than a C if you don't give opinions and justifications. Prepositions and adjectives important to make sentence. Our, sentence. Like, yeah, and to make it more like original and like give it spice and then idioms and, and then the future tense is lost because it's all in the past. Personal of English jetzt. I want to know from you what you put at the bottom of your pile and why. A future tense because the narrator card is always in the past. So Excellent. Never use it. Can I ask you what you put in on the second row down and why? Opinions, because then it will show that you know how to use connectives and put you in a higher mark band. 
Who can tell me what they put right at the top and why? Um, you use the perfect tense because you're always talking in the past. You're trying to get children to be challenged and you're trying to get them to give justification for every single thing that they come up with and it's the justification that, that raises the challenge. And that slots in quite neatly into the whole assessment for learning. Wer kann mir auf Englisch sagen, was das ist? Warum haben wir das? Was ist das? Auf Englisch. Um, it's a marking scheme for the narrator card. Right, and why is it important that you have it? Uh, so we know what we need to do to get a start. Exactly, okay. Yeah. Wieder auf Deutsch, jetzt. Jede Gruppe bekommt eine neue Karte. Ihr habt sieben Minuten, um das vorzubereiten. Jede Gruppe bekommt ein Wörterbuch, okay. Nach sieben Minuten werde ich dann sagen, welche Person aus jeder Gruppe zu den anderen Gruppen gehen muss, um das vorzulesen. Und der Rest, ihr werdet, ihr werdet zuhören und dann korrigieren. Alles klar? Ist das klar? Ja. Hallo, ist das klar? Ja. Klar, toll, okay, also. Outside the hotel, so wir haben uns vor dem Hotel getroffen. Und wann? Uh, two o'clock. Yeah. So, zwei Uhr. Yeah. Okay. So, the whole sentence would be, wir haben uns vor dem Hotel um zwei Uhr getroffen. Yeah. Möchtest du das nächste machen? Die Stadtrundfahrt? Right, okay, well, we could say später, I like to so connect with that later. I've deliberately put them into certain groupings. I want all of my pupils to be at the level where they can tackle that card and get a really good grade in it because I think it's the key to them getting their B or their A grade. So it's a good method of support for the more able children to support the, the less confident children with their German. Später, das Wetter war im Regenrecht, wie in Deutschland. Wir haben äh, das Museum gesehen. Es war sehr interessant, aber normalerweise mag ich nicht Museum, aber heute, es war gut. They all had a copy of their assessment criteria. They knew what they had to include to get the best grade possible. And they then send off their delegate to the next team. I realised that the children were improving as they went round the groups because they were coming, becoming more confident and they were actually taking on board the feedback. Next time I need to include that, I need to include that. For the narrator mark, we gave you seven. Yes, yeah, exactly. Seven, 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 seven and nineteen. Seven and nineteen. Yeah. yeah, I think that was really good. I gave you a seven for your narrator card and the seventeen for your quality of language. Um, all that you really need is like to like improve your confidence because you're kind of like you can't actually do it, but it's just that you like get worried that you're not saying it right, so you just um and ah. You should use more adjectives like to describe things. Like you've used about two only. You know, you could if you use more adjectives. Hey, bye. No. So everyone will give us seven and five. Yeah. This is really good. Stop. Hands, bitte. Wunderbar. The AFL agenda has really made me teach in greater depth. Rather than racing to get through lots and lots of content, and my whole questioning of that is, why should you be able to just do it like that, that, that? Isn't it more important to be able to actually work it out? And how do you give children the skills to work it out? Because if the children have the skills to work it out, they will be independent of you.